Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here, man. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. Um, I'm doing it a little bit differently this time, man. Um, I'm doing a, a Fruity Loops tutorial, you know what I'm saying? Um, I see a, a, lot of, a lot of guys using Fruity Loops to make beats, sometimes even to record and stuff like that. So I'm going to um, I'm hit y'all with a lot of different tutorials with Fruity Loops because me and Fruity Loops have a great history together, you know what I'm saying? I'll just leave it at that, you know what I mean? Um... So, yeah, without further ado, man, let's get straight to it. I'm, I'm basically going to show y'all how to export stems out of FL Studio. So, look, we're going to make a quick um, drum track right quick. Just something, just something quick. Uh, let's put that there. Let's get a snare or a clap. Um, then let's get a hi-hat. And um, let's get a um, let's go with a melody loop. All right, we're gonna mess around with that. So let's put the um. thing fit and for those of you wondering how I did that um, it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much cut to a, a loop point anyway um, but with this uh, stretch option right here you can um, you know stretch like pretty much time scale a sample, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's for another time. I'll show y'all that on some other on some other jump. All right, so let's go to all. And let's do it like a little quick drum track, right quick. All right, so boom, we basically got a, a decent uh, beat going. Um, so what we want to do is, first, I want y'all to pay attention to this column right here. One, two, three, four, and five. If you pay attention, you'll notice that it corresponds with the mixer. Like, watch what happens. Let me turn this metronome off. So as you can see, the levels are moving at the bottom. That means basically that all of these uh, channels, your kick, snare, and your hi-hat are all routed to this channel, including the loop, which is going to be on number four. On your uh, um, arrangement window here, uh, the loop is on the first track, but it's actually, the audio from it is actually being routed to track five. So, yeah, I said four before. It's actually being routed to five. So, let's uh, take the pattern, paste it right here, Put it on song mode. So say that's the beat right there. It's done. You 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 ready to send it off? It's an eight bar song. It's perfect. You know what I mean? What you do is you will go to file up here export but instead of clicking mp3 you click wave right this window should come up you want to create a new folder name it whatever the name of the beat is we're going to keep it untitled right now and we're going to click save now this is the part where you really got to pay attention 
like I said, make sure it's on Wave and not MP3. You can have it on MP3 too, but what will happen is it'll it'll shoot out stems of Waves and MP3s. Um, make sure when you send it off, which is the fi the final step, I'll show you guys about that. Make sure when you send it off, you send the Waves, or, or you can send the whole folder. It doesn't matter, but it's very important that the engineer has the Wave files. Can't stress that enough. All right, so let's move on. I'm hearing that some some engineers they they ask for a 16 bit. Um, you can leave it there. I like to use 24, but this is the most important part. This section right here. Make sure split mixer tracks is highlighted. You know what I'm saying. Make sure it's selected. And once it's selected, you hit start. And once you hear that sound, that's great news. You know what I'm saying? That means you can navigate to your desktop. You go to that folder that you made that has all the files in it. See? It's separated. It has the actual uh, two-track stereo file of the beat for, you know, reference. Um, and then it has uh, the actual tracked out um, parts of the, of the beat. You know, we got all the files that we need right here. What we want to do is we want to zip that thing up, right click on the folder, and click compress folder. Right? Once you're done with that, you go to www.wetransfer.com and send the file, man. Send the file to whoever you're working with. That's the that's the uh the one I like to use. You don't necessarily have to use that one. This is not a paid sponsorship or nothing like that. That's just the one that I like to use. Um, you know, there's plenty of other different uh, share um, options or whatever, file share options, but I like to use WeTransfer, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, man, that's pretty much how you export stems out of FL Studio. This is your man, Frank Dutch, man. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you already have not done so. Um, also, follow us on Instagram at Frank Dutch Music and follow this YouTube channel's Instagram page at Apex Music and Media. This your man Frank Dutch. I'm out of here, man. Peace.